to you. They haven't done anything. I'm fine, Kalana. It's not me he wants. I have to get you out before something bad happens. I don't want anyone else to be hurt. <sighs> yes. All right. Let me out and I'll take you home. The Darkspawn have your things. You can still get it all back if you're careful and clever. She's infected, I think. They're going to come back to check on you. You have to hurry. I don't know anything, but take this key. Emissary. It, it opens a chest in the emissary's room. Maybe you'll find some answers there. I... I don't know. They're coming. You have to go. Find a way out of the mines. Please. I can't just leave you. Sarani, wait! Ogren, don't go to the fire, please. That's magic, magical barrier. Can't get get out of that way. Architect lab. So he did some he tests on us, but for of corpse, for a maze. It is begun. has been doing something here. So I wonder where our our stuff is.
emissary's room. Not a lab, but room. Anders might like this. Ooh, for me. It is begun. It shall be done. Ballista. Hey, that's mine! That thing has my things! It's got its sallow, flabby hands all over my doodads, touching my junk! <laughs> yeah, okay, I understand. I hope you don't mind your chunk being a little scorched. Experimental subject. So now we got uh, everything. S something here. The Warden Commander. I would not have expected to meet you here. Did those bastards get you too? I had hoped you would avoid capture. You'd be luckier than the rest of us. I was to help rebuild the Ferelden Wardens, just as you were. We were at Vigil's Keep less than a week when the Darkspawn came. I think I'm the only one left. The others are dead or worse. There's no sense in regret. You must escape. The Darkspawn have some kind of plan for you, and it cannot be good. But listen. There is a darkspawn here, carrying a huge maul. He crushed my legs. He took my wedding ring. Please, Commander, slay him. Bring the ring to my wife, Nida, in Amaranthine. Tell her I died, trying to make this world better. No, I will only slow you down. Please, do this for me. It is all I ask. All right, we have almost everything we had. Now 
Now we can actually explore a bit. started to grow on me uh, in this this DLC and at least these same characters are recurring so you kind of don't don't get all right so um, okay fire supposed to be here no shit so once I made a deal with the creatures and they set me free I bring them supplies they give me gold no all I care is that the darkspawn honor our arrangement questioning them would be Inadvisable. The coon is a lie. I am Tal Bashan. Ah, okay. My life is my own. I do not help the dark spawn. I help myself. It will not. I have been promised protection. Uh huh. Ah, that one. Okay. That was something. Apparently that was one of the, his tests. And I don't think it 
got ever fully explored why, why the bad guy was uh, doing these tests and they're dark spot they'll head underground to the deep roads they always do nothing like the children of stone yes they say wardens can sense dark spawn even deep beneath the ground I would join the gray wardens give me the ability to hunt down these monsters in the deep at the very least, it's hard to get the taste out of your mouth for a few hours. <laughs> I am not Sunshine. Of death. I will pledge my service to you in exchange for the powers your order can grant. What say you? Marcianus. Shall we go then? I've had enough of this place. Well, this works. New quest, Velanus joining. Shock treatment. Landsmith's shield. How on earth it's here? More constitution. This is pretty, pretty useful shield, if I use the shield. Plus. Shock treatment, yeah. Shock spells would be nice. When, when you meet the dragons that are not taste about your normal fire spells. Of course. Ice magic seems to be pretty pretty okay in this in this game as well. Well, he's ugly. Unfortunate. No, it is lost to us now. There is no point in returning, Mortar. Your former comrades are impressive. They will be difficult to convince. Fulfill my promise to you. All is not lost yet. Come, we must prepare for battle. Legion of Death uh, armor that. So yeah, pretty much much uh, happening and yeah, events and scenery in, in a couple hours. So this this was really good DLC. You're back. You need anything? <laughs> this will help a great deal. Wait. The commander found a silverite deposit. Armor and weapons could be made with this. Could. I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates it. Warden. Torian is content to let me craft away in obscurity under dreadful conditions. Never a care for the art. The art of crafting. But you, you're not so dreadfully common. Exactly. I want to make wondrous things, things a dwarf and craftsman would appreciate. If you come across any fantastical materials, could you perhaps visit old Wade? Wade, what are you about? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> He's an artist. Fantastical materials. I practice my trade for thirty years. For what? To make hauberks for nameless drones. Must yes, do this the Hauberks. You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. <laughs> Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> Explosives! The name is Dworkin Glavenock. <laughs> some call me Dworkin the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. 
to be a little mad in my line of research. I developed these particular formulations. It's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen skin giants shouldn't be allowed <laughs> to outsmart dwarves. So, I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile debris. Uh huh. Well, that was big bull. A stable formula would put a mess of herd on the dark spawn. Let us retake some of our lost tigs. If you got a mind to, hi. We used up all the explosives on those dark spawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but that's too fine. Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. With real lyrium sand, I can set the lads to work. Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Warden, before you let my brother blow himself to little bitsies, tell him to be careful. Don't listen to Fulfric. I know what I'm about. Uh -huh. And how many apprentices have you lost? Three? No, four? We'll know the risks. If we succeed, our names will go down in history. I, Commander. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> well, he's a bit mad. Hey, Commander. I need a dreams. You get them. Uh, this is a Grey Warden thing. Huh? <laughs> Why didn't anyone tell me? I can't imagine he has anything interesting to say. In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared broodmothers, and it had Hespa's face. Remember Hespeth, don't you? Bronca was there and whispered, It's time! And Hespeth screamed, and a thousand darkspawn burst from her. Then the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. <laughs> and could I please teach them to read and write? And then one of them kept repeating, Where's the baby? And that's when I woke up. <laughs> Usually they accuse me of the opposite. Thanks for listening, Commander. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm here to serve, Commander. I will do what can be done, but you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the vigil considerably. Very well, Commander. Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Some of these lords bore Rendon no love, oh. but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthi. Commander. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine, as is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmerel, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Mm -hmm. Never will I bear arms against her or her heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Micker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck. And so the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrick, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Van Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. 
so many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. Perhaps you do not know the full extent of their determination. I've had occasion to intercept some of their missives. They are cryptic things. Any individual message is unintelligible, but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin a deadly coalition. I would take this matter seriously, Warden. They know of your capabilities and they're spending a fortune to see their aims fulfilled. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I've much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. Hmm. Conspiracy. You know, I'm actually not the first how to be a Grey Warden. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, more like. His name was Padrick Howe. He joined the Order before it returned to Ferelden just after the war. Never contacted his family again. Just vanished. Now that I know about the joining, I think he died. Told what? The joining is a secret. Father always said he was a horrible man for abandoning the family to join a pointless cause. I grew up ashamed of my grandfather. But now I see his bravery. That will take some getting used to. My father often forgot that nobility has another meaning. I told you that the bow you gave me was my grandfather's, didn't I? Thank you for that. At any rate, we should probably get back to it. There are dark spawn to kill, I'll bet. Somewhere. All right. So, let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. She's a sly one, said Tamra, but knowledgeable about such things. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options. Some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf who finds Dark information wolf. for a fee. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. No idea, honestly. Somewhere in the foreign quarter of Amaranthine is all I know. You need to head to the city then, and chase down a ghost. <laughs>